Hello everybody, welcome to this week's vlog. My name is Courtney, I'm a first year PA student and I'm gonna be showing you a week in my life as a PA student. It is currently Monday, January 18th and I am about to drive to my parents' house because they live close to my campus and I'm going to be there for the week because we have some stuff on campus. So it's about a two hour drive. So I'm going to head there now and I'll see you when I get there. Okay, I made it to my parents' house. It is six o'clock. I just need to eat dinner and then I am going to start studying for my endocrinology exam. That's Friday. Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday at 8.30 a.m. Um, I'm going to head to campus because we are going to kind of learn how to do an EKG, I think. I don't know, or we're just getting one done on ourselves. So I'm gonna go do that with my lab partner. I'll see you guys there. I made it to campus. Time to go in. It's like nine o'clock and my schedule time is 9.20 and I just got such in the group me saying that they're running behind and to come 10 to 15 minutes later than your assigned time. So I'm very early but um, I guess I'll just use this time to study. This is my lab partner, Mackenzie. We're about to do our EKG in just a minute. We both <laughs> just got these cute new NSU jackets. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we are all done. I was going to film the EKG, but it was very fast paced, so I didn't really have time. I wanted to respect, obviously, my professor's time, but I'm gonna go get some food and then I'm gonna head over to my classmate's apartment. So I just got my Starbucks. I got a Iced triple espresso with 2% milk in a venti cup with four pumps of caramel. That's very extra, but it's nice and cheap and delicious. And then I got a bacon Gouda sandwich. So I'm really excited about that. I'm so hungry because all I had this morning was a smoothie that my mom made me and I'm definitely a breakfast person. So I'm very hungry. I'm gonna eat this and I'm going to head to Sandy's now. picked up some sushi and then I'm gonna head back. Uh, we have class at from three to five, we have pharmacology. We also had a physical diagnosis lecture that was pre-recorded from one to three, but I watched that this weekend. So I've just been studying for my endocrine exam on Friday and that's probably what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of the night. All right, it is six o'clock, I am headed home for dinner at my parents' house. And then I'm just going to be studying still the rest of the night for endocrinology. Maybe I'll watch The Bachelor if I feel like I got enough done, but I don't know. It's kind of a lot of material and a lot of details. So right now I'm thinking that it's gonna be a night of studying. And then I have um, a quiz in the morning and class all day tomorrow, more studying at night and then just repeat. Hey guys, sorry I haven't really vlogged today at all. Um, it's five o'clock. I actually just took a nap 
because I've just been like so tired this week and just feeling kind of like, bleh. Not like sick or anything, just really tired and not motivated and stuff like that. So I just didn't really have the energy to try and vlog today because I was really just trying to make it through class. My cheeks are all red from my nap. <laughs> But I really need to finish studying because that's why I took a nap is I was reading my PowerPoint slides and just kind of fell asleep. But I think I'm going to make myself some coffee and then get back to studying now that I had a nap. Just going to use that as like a little refresher time to get back to it. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm using my classmate Bianca's study guide and I'm going through our PowerPoint um, with all my notes on it and I am just like editing this that way it's in a way that I can more easily understand if that makes sense, just like kind of personalizing it. I got this idea from my friend Sandy, this is what she was doing yesterday to study. And then at the same time I'm going through Pants Pet Pearls um, for each topic just to get like a better idea of the material just because Pants Prep Pearls puts it a little bit more clearly and if I do see anything that I want to add from Pants Prep Pearls like a little tip or something that I'll add it in here but overall I'm just keeping it the PowerPoint material because I know that's what my professor will test us on. It is almost 11.30 and I'm so tired from studying. My eyes are starting to hurt just from staring at these screens and I think I'm gonna get ready for bed and then finish this up in the morning because I made it like almost halfway through the PowerPoints doing this. So I'm almost there, but I just don't think I can do any more tonight. I'm just starting to crash, so. I think that's the plan. Go to sleep, wake up early, hopefully. <laughs> I'm really bad at waking up early and getting back to work. Yeah, um, I'm definitely just going to bed. I'm so tired. So, um, I don't know. I guess I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. We have class today from eight to five. I think our last class is pharmacology, which is pre-recorded. So we are technically out of class at three, but anytime that I'm not in class today, I'm going to be spending studying because we have our first exam of the semester tomorrow. It's endocrinology, which is not my favorite topic. And it's, I think 30 questions, like 30 clinical questions in 39 minutes i think it was so that's gonna be interesting so that's what i'm gonna be doing this whole day pretty much it's just studying and then we have a lab tomorrow so i'll be very relieved once tomorrow's exam is over glasses for my car because my eyes are still killing me since last night so I'm assuming maybe it has to do with staring at screens so hopefully these help 
All right guys, so I am done with class and I was studying and then I was falling asleep <laughs> while studying. So I went and got some coffee, FaceTime a friend. I just took a little bit of a study break because my brain is getting to the point that it's just fried and I can't study much more, but I'm feeling a little bit refreshed now. I'm gonna drink my coffee and do some studying. And then later I'm going to post a little endocrinology quiz on my Instagram story. If you aren't following me over there, go check it out. I always do little quizzes before my CMS exams. Everybody seems to enjoy them, so I'm gonna keep doing that. But I'm just going to finish up studying and then I'm going to probably do some Rosh review to do like some practice questions for my exam tomorrow. We'll see how late I can actually stay up tonight studying because I don't know, I'm just getting really sick of studying, but I don't know. I feel like I should probably stay up later tonight studying because every time I try to wake up in the morning to study like right before my exam, I cannot wake up and I just end up falling asleep studying and stuff. So I should probably get as much as I can get done tonight as possible so that way I don't have to wake up as early tomorrow because even if I try to do that, Let's be honest, I'm not gonna be successful. So that's the plan. I'll keep you guys updated with what the heck is going on. But I'm so excited for this exam just to be over with. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I just posted my little Instagram quiz. And now I am going to do Rosh review to do some practice questions because apparently this professor is going to make it like clinical questions and I can't even remember the last time I signed into this. Okay, good, it saved my password. <laughs> okay, time to see how I'm gonna do. my exam in two minutes and my parents cat decides to meow outside my door lovely what are you doing what are you doing you sit right here okay i'll be back in like 30 minutes okay please leave me alone my exam's over. That was really nerve-wracking. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like our exam last semester had a few clinical questions where it's like actual case, but then uh, for that test, it was pretty much all cases and you didn't get like that much time for the test. So I don't know, I was just kind of freaking out. I felt like I know, knew a lot of information and then there were some things that I was like, oh, I don't know. I remember reading that, but I can't remember. So I guess we'll just see how I did, but I need to shower and eat breakfast before my first class today at 10. So I'll see you guys then. She's all mad at me now from earlier. She came back to my door earlier before my exam and was meowing outside my door. So I literally had to put her like outside, outside. And I haven't seen her since then until she just now came in my room. So I guess we're friends again. Were you mad at me? Yeah. I'm heading to go get gas and then I'm going to campus. We have our first lab today of the semester. From what I know, I think that we practice our OSCEs during lab. So we'll get with our partners and we'll get chief complaint and our partner pretends to be the patient. So they'll be like, 
I have a sore throat or whatever and then um, we pretty much just like ask them questions, do a history, do a review of systems and then do a physical and try to come up with a differential diagnosis of what they could have, etc. That's what I'm pretty sure what we're doing today and then I think that we have to write a soap note afterwards. Uh, pretty much like summarizing it all up. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Headed there now. Okay, so I just made it to campus and here is my lab partner. <laughs> Anyway, I just made it to campus and I wanted to let you guys know about an app that I use at the gas station. Whenever I go there, I use the Get Upside app and pretty much you just like check in at the gas station and you get a certain amount of money back per gallon. So just now I got 13 cents back per gallon and it adds up so quick actually, especially if you're commuting to school like me. And then you can use it to get any sort of gift cards. I use it for Starbucks gift cards because I love coffee. Definitely use my code if you are gonna use the app because then you get an extra 15 cents back on your first time using the app. So on top of whatever the amount is. So definitely use it. Okay, she's waiting for me, gonna head in. See you guys in Sed Lab. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this week's vlog. I am going to wrap it up here, but I did want to let you know that I did make it home safe and I did pass my exam. So we're starting off the semester strong. As always, if you have any questions, either reach out to me on Instagram at myway underscore 2PA, or you can leave your question in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye. Okay. I hope that you guys can hear me. I always feel like you guys well you definitely can't hear me when you're on the floor oh my gosh okay one second okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs>